Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am a full-time working mom with two kids and in these videos, I just like to share with you what groceries I got for the week, if there's anything new I found at the store and also what my meal plan is for the week. So when I get home, I will share with you my grocery haul and then my meal plan. If you like these types of videos or any type of food and family content i would love it if you would subscribe so that you get a notification every time i post a new video i spent a lot today for me at least i spent 340 dollars at walmart to about 200 of that was on groceries and the rest was on non-food and household items so let me show you what i grabbed all right, so here is a look at everything that I got from Walmart. I'll start down here with the produce. Uh, I did get a couple bananas. We had a few left over, so we didn't need a ton, so I just grabbed a couple. And then I also grabbed some fresh spinach. Um, this is for a recipe, and then Kira also likes to eat that every once in a while. Connor specifically asked for some green apples, so I got a bag of Granny Smith apples. Um, I've been getting this when I go to Walmart. It's sort of like the sparkling ice, except it's a lot cheaper. And so I typically just get one of the flats and fill it up with 12. So I got some cherry limeade, strawberry banana, um, which is actually really good. Pineapple passion fruit, citrus, huckleberry, and peach nectar. I also grabbed a sparkling ice caffeine. I'll probably drink this at some point. Um, I tried this once before and I can't remember if I got this particular flavor or not, but this is really good. I think it's um, a little bit newer on the market anyway. I got a bag, or not a bag, a box of spring mix for salads this week and also for a recipe. I grabbed one cucumber. I like to cut this up for the kids and then we also have it in um, salads. Uh, Kira asked for kiwis, so I just went ahead and got a whole box. These will last um, quite a while on the counter and then I'll cut them up um, for the kids to eat. I grabbed a two pound box of strawberries. These are still a really good price. They were two dollars for two pounds. I got one avocado, one mango for a recipe and then I was almost out of lemons. I would have liked to get the bag of lemons but they didn't have any there. There was actually quite a few things that were picked over. Um, in the grocery store today. Maybe it's just because I'm going on a Sunday rather than a Friday or Saturday, I'm not sure. But I did get five lemons. There is a couple recipes that, or there are a couple recipes rather, that call for these. And I always like to have lemons on hand anyway. I grabbed some tomatoes to use for either salads or also for sandwiches. Um, I grabbed Connor some of these Lala yogurt smoothies. This is the mango kind. He really likes these. We've tried all the different flavors. They have a strawberry, a strawberry banana, um, and a mango. So I got those for him. I grabbed some half and half for my coffee. I grabbed a smaller one to take with me to work later this week so I could have that um, for my coffee at work. And then I grabbed a larger one just to keep at home here. Kira also asked for some lemonade. So I just grabbed one of the Simply Lemonades, and then I also got just a half gallon of the 1% um, chocolate milk. Usually Connor's the one that drinks that for breakfast. Uh, I got some different meats and cheeses. So I did have a recipe that calls for grated Parmesan cheese, and I decided to get the fresh Parmesan and grate it myself. I'll probably put this in the food processor and grate it up that way. For cheese this week, I got this sliced uh, jalapeno and habanero jack cheese. This is really good to eat with like cheese and crackers or on a sandwich. I haven't bought it in a while and I kind of forgot about it and I saw it there today and I was like, oh, I'll grab that. I grabbed some um, sharp cheddar cheese. This is for sandwiches. Kira really likes that on her sandwiches. And then we have some turkey left over from last week. So I just grabbed half a pound of this um, oven roasted Oh, this was supposed to be chicken. Oh yeah, it is. Oven roasted chicken breast. So I grabbed that. I also got some of our favorite um, sliced salami. This is in the deli section at Walmart, already pre-sliced. So I grabbed that. Connor likes to have this as a snack with pretzels and apples. Um, I got Adam some of the Walmart brand macaroni salad. Um, this is really good for pre-packaged macaroni salad. So probably have that for lunches this week. I grabbed two Chobani flips. Um, so this one is the s'more s'mores and this one is the cinnamon bun. Connor usually likes to eat these 
um, for a snack and I'll eat them too. Kira eats them every once in a while. I got some plain bagels this week and so I decided to get the garden vegetable cream cheese to go with those for breakfast. This was actually in the clearance section, um, just McCormick chili powder. It was on clearance for $1.37. So I decided to grab that just to have in the pantry. And then I got a couple different marinades. Um, these are the packet McCormick kind that you mix with usually oil and water and vinegar. And I think they're really good either for like chicken breast or pork chops or steak. So I got one of the mojito lime and one of the chipotle pepper. I thought about trying the mojito lime maybe with um, shrimp. I think that would be good. Um, and the chipotle pepper with chicken breast. Um, I got some raviolis and spaghettios for the kids. So I got two cans of spaghettios with meatballs, two cans of ravioli. They were very passionate this week that they said there was nothing to eat in the house. So I had them make me a grocery list, which is why I'll mention if they asked for <laughs> certain things. Um, I really like the cookie butter from Trader Joe's, but I the closest Trader Joe's to me is like 45 minutes away, and I don't get there very often. So I decided to try the Speculoos cookie butter from Great Value. So let me know if you've tried this and if you like it. Um, sometimes I just like eat this with apples or just eat a spoonful of it. If you need a sweet treat, it's delicious. Um, they were out of my favorite cottage cheese, uh, the regular 4% AE dairy, but they have this, and this is garden vegetable cottage cheese. I've had this before, but it's been a long um, time ago, so there's actually chopped up veggies mixed in with this cottage cheese and seasonings, which sounds weird, um, but I remember it being good, so I decided to try it again this week, and then I also grabbed some sour cream just to have in the refrigerator. I got 18 eggs. Um, I was looking for cold brew in the drink section in the refrigerator. They didn't have any, they were totally out. And so I saw this cold brew concentrate in the um, coffee aisle. And so you mix basically this equal parts with water. And I know I can make my own cold brew, um, but I wasn't feeling <laughs> in the mood for it this week. And my new favorite drink from Starbucks is the cold brew with the cold oat milk cinnamon foam. It's really good. And I figured I could use this with my milk frother. Um, it's an espresso milk frother and it actually has a cold froth function. So I figured I could use that with some oat milk and try to recreate my own um, Starbucks drink at home. Uh, I just grabbed a six pack of the Kool-Aid Bursts for the kids. And then I also got one box of the Cheddar Havarti Mac and Cheese. I don't think we've tried this particular flavor before. Um, from the Walmart brand, but I was totally out of mac and cheese in the pantry, so I needed to stock up on that. I also just got two boxes of plain old Kraft mac and cheese for a quick lunch or a quick dinner. Um, I got six of the cinnamon applesauce cups. The kids really like these, and then they also really like the mandarin oranges. So I grabbed those for um, sides for lunches this week and for snacks. Um, I also got some of these McVitie's digestives. Um, I think these are proper English biscuits, but these are the ones with milk chocolate. These are super good. I don't know what it is about them. They kind of taste like graham crackers with chocolate on them. So sometimes I'll have a couple of these at night, like if I have a coffee and they're really, really good. If you can find those, I would recommend them. Uh, I also got some of the nacho cheese cups. I usually get these um, every couple weeks. So these are nice because they're just single serving. So we can have those with like pretzels or chips. And then I was almost out of mayo and I needed it for a couple recipes. So I grabbed another um, bottle of that. I grabbed one bag of M&Ms. Um, the kids have been liking to have popcorn when they watch movies. And I always like to sprinkle just a little bit of M&Ms in there. So I grabbed those for them. And then these were in the clearance section, but I actually don't think they were clearance because they rang up like three something a piece, but I was like, oh, well, I'll get them. Um, it's Bridgeford Turkey Pepperoni. And I think I'm gonna try and make some like homemade um, Lunchables this week for the kids. And so I thought I could use those for that. Uh, I got some Pringles, just one can of the cheddar cheese Pringles. And then I also got a bag of the baked Ruffles cheddar and sour cream. These are really, really good. Uh, I think these are actually just as good as the 
regular cheddar and sour cream ruffles. Um, I got some frozen dinners, mostly for myself for lunches this week. So I like these garlic chicken spring rolls from Lean Cuisine. They're actually pretty decent and I have the Panda Express um, sweet chili sauce that I like to dip those in. I've tried this brand before, but I've never tried this um, kind. It's the Saffron Road Chicken Pad Thai with rice noodles. I love pad thai, so I thought that would be good. And then I have tried this before. It's a buffalo style chicken with mac and cheese and blue cheese. It's really, really good. I actually took this to work um, last week and had it for a lunch and it was really good. And this brand is the Good Food Made Simple. They had several different kinds of frozen dinners, but that's the one I decided to get. Um, I got a couple frozen pizzas just to have in the freezer for maybe a quick lunch. Um, they did not have just plain cheese, which I normally get one sausage and pepperoni and one cheese. Um, so I got one sausage and pepperoni and one half cheese and half pepperoni. Um, I think I'm going to make mac and cheese, like homemade mac and cheese this week, maybe if I feel like it. <laughs> so I just got a small package of the Velveeta original cheese. The, the recipe that I use for mac and cheese calls for both shredded sharp cheddar and Velveeta and I think the combination is really good. Um, I mentioned this in a previous video, but this Baskin Robin pralines and cream ice cream is really, really good. Um, I tried to get this a couple weeks ago and they were out of it, or at least they said they were on grocery pickup, but sometimes I question that because like when I went there today, there was like a ton in the, in the freezer section, so I don't know. Um, so anyway, I got one of those for myself. And then I think these are new. These are uh, Life Cuisine Low Carb Lifestyle Uncured Turkey Bacon and Aged White Cheddar Egg Bites. Um, now these are a little bit pricey because it looks like there's two in there. And I can't remember how much this was. I want to say it was like $3.38, which obviously you can make these for way cheaper at home, and you can probably get them at Starbucks for the same price. Um, but I, I saw them, and I decided to um, try them, so I'll have to let you guys know how those are. Uh, I got some of these little ice cream cups. I was just looking for the chocolate and vanilla ones um, for the kids, because sometimes they like to have ice cream, and this is good because it's good portion control. So I just got the blue ribbon. Uh, rainbow sherbet and then I got one bag of the waffle cut fries um, I also grabbed some chicken nuggets so we could do a quick lunch with those things I got one bag of green beans for a side for dinner this week and one bag of corn for a recipe uh, plain waffles I grabbed these for Connor and then chicken nuggets I already mentioned um, I went ahead and got the variety pack of the great value chips so they had two different kinds there they had this kind and then they had another variety pack, but the other one had actually 14 bags of chips and was more expensive. But this one had 18 and was less expensive. It was actually like $4.98, I think, for this 18 pack. Um, so it comes with regular Cheetos, Cool Ranch Doritos, regular Doritos, chili cheese Fritos, and then sour cream chips and barbecue chips. So I grabbed that. I got two loaves of bread, one loaf of the 100% Whole wheat bread that's the kind Adam likes and then one loaf of the Sara Lee honey wheat this is usually what I use for the kids sandwiches grilled cheese peanut butter and jelly that kind of stuff um, and then I'm going to make Italian beef sandwiches one night this week um, I actually like to use the pioneer woman's recipe she calls it drip beef so I'll link that recipe down below but it doesn't use the prepackaged um, Italian dressing mix it actually uses like fresh herbs and rosemary it's really good so I got some sub rolls for that and then these were the plain bagels I got to go with the garden veggie cream cheese um, I got quite a few non-food things so we were running low on <laughs> loofahs so I just decided to stock up on the dollar ones um, so I got six these were dollar each and um, I figured that we could put one in each of our showers and then have extra when those ran out. Um, I got this graphic novel for Connor. He really likes reading graphic novels, so I was just looking through the book section and thought I would grab him this. It says it's The Cardboard Kingdom by Chad Sell. 
Uh, this was, I didn't really plan on buying this, but I saw it in the kitchen aisle and I decided to grab it because I need a new one. So this is a sponge holder that suction cups onto the side of your sink. And the reason I like this one is because it's plastic. Um, some of the metal ones can get kind of rusty and gross over the years, so I'll throw mine away and use this one instead. I got Murphy some of the rawhide free bones. These are the mook bone gnaw bones. I was trying to find the large size since he's a lab, but I couldn't find them, so I got those. Um, I got Connor a Rubik's Cube. We had one and I can't find it anymore. This is only like seven bucks in the game aisle at Walmart. Um, okay, so I mentioned this before a while back and I needed to get a new one because my old one was kind of um, getting worn out, but this is the foot rasp and it's by Onyx and you can get this in like the personal care aisle kind of by all of like the foot cream and stuff like that. Um, but this works really well if you have calluses on your feet. I just keep it in my shower and um, it's like eight bucks and it works really good. So I would recommend that if you're looking for something to smooth out your feet. Um, okay, so I normally get the plugins or I'm sorry, the wallflowers, I guess it is from Bath and Body Works, but they have been terrible like with their sales lately. Um, I know that they're having like a 50% off sale right now, so I probably should get on there and order some, but I don't know. I just feel like they haven't had any coupons lately. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being picky, but <laughs> I just decided to grab a couple of these plugins instead. Um, I watched Leanne from Grady's Mom. I'll link her channel down below, and she has talked about switching over from the Wallflowers to the Febreze ones, so I decided I would give these a try. Um, I went ahead and got two plugs and two refills. So this one is the wood, amber, and cedar. It smells really good. And then this one is uh, bamboo, so I thought we would try those out. Um, I grabbed a couple things for Kira. Um, this t-shirt that says staying in is the new going out. I thought that was cute and it has some rainbows and some stars on it. And then I also got her um, just a pair of these Capri leggings. Um, these are just a gray color. I actually got her a pink color not too long ago and she's <laughs> She said it was too bright. She didn't want to wear those, so apparently she doesn't like flashy clothes. Um, I grabbed a couple of these mini storage trays. These are, I believe these are only a dollar, um, but they're a great size if you need to like organize a junk drawer or something like that. So I grabbed those for some organization I have to do. And then we are all out of glasses wipes. Um, Adam and I both wear glasses and Kira also wears glasses now, so we definitely go through these quick. Um, the, there's, a, there's several different brands at my Walmart, but these are the ones that are cheaper and I think they're both equally as good. But I think these are super convenient because I can just throw them in my purse and I always have some. Um, Kira can keep them up in her room and then it's kind of all in one. You don't have to worry about you know having the spray and the wipe separately. Um, I mentioned this a couple weeks ago, I think. This is the Downy Unstoppables uh, scent beads, the Bounce Outdoor Fresh. This smells really good, so if you find this scent, I would recommend it. Um, they had a display up front with these Sistema containers, and they were only $2, which I honestly thought was uh, a misprint until I rang them up, <laughs> and yes, they are $2. Uh, but this is a great size for storing produce in the refrigerator. Uh, so I went ahead and grabbed two of those. I figured I could store greens in these or washed up, you know, berries or anything like that. Um, I got some more mouthwash for Connor. This is just the Act Kids Pineapple Punch. Um, I got, I was going to get Cottonelle wipes, but I just went ahead and grabbed some of the um, Equate ones instead since they were cheaper. Um, and then drinks. I got a bunch of drinks. So I got Adam a 10-pack of the Monster uh, Zero. So he likes those energy drinks. They had kind of like slim pickings today on the soda and the energy drinks. I don't know if, again, I don't know if people are like stocking up or if I just came at the end of the weekend or what's going on. Um, I believe this is new. This is a V8 Sparkling Energy Orange Pineapple. Um, so I got these to try for myself. I also got myself some AHA water and this is the Honey Peach flavor, which I haven't seen before. So I think it might be new. Um, so I got that to try. I love sparkling water. I got some Diet Wild Cherry Pepsi. Um, this is the Orange Mimosa flavored sparkling water from Walmart. They have several different flavors that are all sort of like cocktail inspired. So they have a Mimosa, a Moscow Mule, and a Mojito. 
I would say I think the orange mimosa one is my favorite and obviously this is not alcoholic it's just a flavored sparkling water um, and then this is the sweetened sparkling water from Walmart so I got one 12 pack of wild cherry one 12 pack of cherry limeade and then a 12 pack of the diet dr. pepper cream soda which I think is a seasonal limited edition type thing but I really like it and I hope they continue it so I think that's everything that I grabbed from the store I also wanted to share with you guys the Variety Fun Box that we got this month for July. Um, they did send this to me, but it's something that I've purchased before on my own, so it's definitely something I would recommend. Um, I always have a coupon code for them, so I'll leave that in the description box below. I believe it is um, a percentage off your first subscription box, so I'll leave all of that information um, down there. We've already ate, eaten some of this. In fact, there was a bag of kettle chips that was pepperoncini flavored that um, Adam ate the other night and I tried one. They were so good. Um, I thought this was cool too. They included this pack of keto nut granola. So I'm actually looking forward to trying this with some yogurt this week. Um, but we also got some popcorn. Um, obviously they always send a ton of different chips. So barbecue chips, hot fries, um, I like this because you just get obviously a variety of different things and um, it's it's kind of nice because you don't have to buy you know one big package of any one thing and you get to try out different things. They include quite a few different kinds of everything. So like we have peanut butter crackers, Nutri-Grain bars, um, which Nutri-Grain bars are always good to have around. They also include some of these grandma's cookies which are really good. I think these are my favorite, the fudge stripe cookies. I really love those. So again, if you guys want to give this a try, um, I'll leave the information down below so you can use that link for a percentage off. Okay, so here is the meal plan for this week. Um, you guys know I always use a Cariel meal planner, but unfortunately they go in and out of stock and right now they are out of stock. And so I have actually created some free printables that you guys can use. One is a meal planning sheet, um, so you can just download this and print it out on your computer, or on your printer rather, and it has the days of the week on the left hand side and then a shopping list on the right hand side. And then I also made a daily agenda kind of to-do list thing and I'll be talking more about this in my next weekend prep video. Um, but these two things are available for you guys to download. You'll actually um, go to the link in my description box, enter your email address and they will get emailed directly to you. So I'll leave the link down below for that. If you end up using these, please um, show me on Instagram and tag me so I can share. I would love to see um, how you're using these, but hopefully that helps you out if you can't get your hands on a regular meal planner. Um, so anyway, this is what we're having for dinner this week. On uh, yesterday or Saturday, we had cashew chicken and I made homemade egg rolls and rice. This was out of the Cook Once, Eat All Week cookbook which is one of my favorite meal prepping cookbooks. So I'll link that down below. You can get it on Amazon pretty inexpensively and I've made many recipes out of it and they've all been really good. Um, tonight we're gonna have French onion chicken. So this is actually a every plate recipe that I had from a while back and I just kind of saved it in my drawer. Um, so here is the recipe for that. I'll try to find this online and link it. Um, but I'm not necessarily using the every plate box. I'm just using obviously the recipe for it, which is kind of the nice thing about their recipe cards is you can keep them. I do have a coupon code for every plate. I believe it's $20 off your first box. So if you do want to try that out and you've never tried it out before, um, check that out below. But um, this is really good and it sounds um, good tonight. We're gonna have mashed potatoes and roasted carrots with that. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be making Parmesan chicken. This is actually an Ina Garten recipe that I printed off a while back and just haven't made yet. So it's kind of like a chicken cutlet um, with a salad on the side. So I'll link this recipe down below as well. Um, but we're going to have that with salad and some rice. On Tuesday I'm making some uh, tilapia, probably just pan fried with some breadcrumbs and then roasted veggies and potato wedges. On Wednesday, I'm actually making this buttermilk fried chicken recipe. I also printed this out a while back and haven't made it yet, so I'll link it down below as well. Um, but this is a recipe where you soak the chicken in the buttermilk mixture 
um, and then fry it in a pan. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And then with that, we're gonna have green beans and mac and cheese. On a Thursday, I'm gonna make Italian beef sandwiches. I'll link the recipe down below that I use. It's, I think I mentioned before, it's Pioneer Woman's recipe. It does not use the Italian seasoning packet. It uses um, like regular Italian seasonings and then fresh rosemary. And then I figure we just have chips and some fruit with that. And then on Friday, we'll probably either do pizza or um, have takeout. So that is what we're having on the meal plan this week. I forgot to mention also that I did purchase a few things that are eligible for Ibotta and Fetch rewards. So if you've never tried Ibotta or Fetch, um, I'll have links in the description box if you wanna download those apps. I've actually saved, I think it's almost $3,000 with Ibotta over the past several years. And Fetch, you can redeem um, the points for gift cards and you don't have to purchase certain things. Ibotta, some people don't like because you do have to purchase certain things, but it is a higher amount of cash back if you purchase the things in their app. So I enjoy using both. Those are the two that I use the most. I do have Checkout 51 also, but I don't really find that there's a lot of stuff on there that I buy. Um, and there's, I've had problems with it before. Like there's times when I've purchased things and it hasn't gone through and it just ends up being more frustrating than it's worth. Um, so check that out if you wanna download those apps. I think with the Fetch app, if you download it with my link, you get for a free 2,000 points, which ends up being a free $2. And then I think you get extra points when you scan your first receipt. You can actually just scan any receipt you have like in your wallet or your purse right now. It doesn't have to be something that you bought you know, new just today. So that is it for this week's video. I would love to know in the comments below what you guys are making this week that you're excited about. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.